Jameson Madison's residential and I'm delighted this afternoon to be showing you around this beautiful three bedroom property behind me, number 74 Cleveland. Situated in the heart of the uh, St. James's area, we're about a 10 minute walk uh, from the centre of Tunbridge Wells, five minutes away from the Knights Park Industrial Estate and the A21. Uh, the property was built in the 70s and offers lovely downstairs living accommodation, living room running through to kitchen and nice big conservatory overlooking the garden, three bedrooms upstairs with a family bathroom. Really is a super property, really been looked after by the current owners. So without wasting any more time, let's take you and show you inside. Here I am in the entrance hall of the property. You've got the stairs leading behind me and I'll show you upstairs in a moment. But let me take you through, I'll follow the camera through. Um, I love this downstairs space. You've got this really nice warm uh, seating area here with the um, wall mounted television. This huge window overlooking the front of the property uh, so you can see guests arriving, uh, but it just lets so much light in. Um, and then as we walk through the property, I'm going to let the camera spin around there. You've got a natural divide here, but equally giving you a sense of sort of open plan um, to the kitchen area and dining area. So you've got this lovely um, dining area here leading through to the conservatory, which we'll show you in a moment. Uh, and that was an extension to the property. But here you've got the kitchen area. Again, it gives you that sort of sense of open plan, but equal division with this um, use of the balustrade here and the, uh, the half wall, but a nice uh, galley kitchen giving you everything that you'd want. There's a washing machine, a spin dryer, dishwasher, um, below counter oven and hob. And then coming back out of the kitchen area, you've got the conservatory here. Now this is, uh, I've been just saying to the owners actually whilst chatting to them, this is so lovely and warm now. It's, um, we're going to go outside in a moment and the sun is out, but it's not terribly warm. But this area of the house is lovely and toasty. So, and you've got this beautiful view over the garden, which again, we'll come to uh, a little bit later in the video and just overlooking the rooftop. So you could while away a morning here, just watching neighbors coming and going and enjoying a morning coffee. So it's got a great sense of space downstairs. You've got those three separate areas, the seating area at the front, perhaps you retreat to in the evenings, and then this lovely space to use during the day. So without any further ado, let's show you upstairs. Upstairs at the property. Uh, and upstairs we've got uh, three bedrooms and the bathroom. So what I'll do is start in the front bedroom here um, so this is a uh, single room currently used uh, as an office, as you can see, um, overlooking the front of the property, but still nice light room because you've got that big window at the rear. And if I take a step back and allow the camera to go in before me and I'll follow it in, here you've got a lovely double room. Again, uh, that front aspect, the window next door to that next door of the, um, of the office, but really good sized double room. So if I sort of walk through to down into the window, you get a sense of the size of the room's perspective. Uh, and now as I'm stood facing you, the camera, um, you can, there's some, a camera's now gonna pick it up, thank you. Um, you've got a nice big built-in double cupboard or wardrobe there. So if we now walk out of this room, again, I'll follow the camera behind the camera. Um, we've got a second uh, double room now, which overlooks the rear of the property. And it's got some lovely views, actually, I think. A uh, nice big window overlooking the sort of the rooftops in the area. Um, really nice sort of quiet space. And also, again, you've got built-in storage. I'll come back in front of the camera quickly. You've got built-in storage in here. So good-sized room here. And then walking past uh, a linen cupboard, um, coming on and finishing off in the um, family bathroom. So here you've got what you would expect in the bathroom with the WC uh, wash basin and then bath, but shower, electric shower over bath. What we'll do now is go outside and uh, show you the garden. Uh, now we're filming this at about half past 12 uh, in the middle of May. Uh, and you can see the sun is captured on this uh, patio area. Now what we've done is we came straight out of the doors from the conservatory there 
uh, and you can see you've got the patio area in the sunshine here. Um, and then you've got uh, a gate, and it's, so it's fenced off here, which keeps, I think, a nice, lovely bit of separation, actually. Got some four steps down to um, a lawned area, and then you've got the gate uh, just in the bottom right-hand corner of there, which uh, leads you out and towards the uh, garage. Um, you've also got a gate here leading you to the front of the property, um, and as you can see, you've got a garden shed as well. So lots of space out here and just really nice usable outside space as well so lovely for entertainment coming out here sitting outside having late morning coffee or spot of lunch what do we love about this property well it's location in the st james's area it's a really popular family area you've got a great school uh, excellent school st james is just literally five minutes walk you're a 10 minute walk from the center of town and equally just five minutes access wise to the a21 uh, and through to the Knights Park Industrial Estate. Within the house, the downstairs space gives great uh, movement. I really like the flow of the downstairs space. It's got its set zones here in the conservatory, just the dining area here and just beyond the lounge. And then upstairs, three good sized rooms, two really good double rooms and the third room with the use of the office or as a single room or as a nursery uh, and a really nice family bathroom. It's a really light property as well. It's situated at the end of the close. You've got this lovely outside space behind me, the dining table and chairs there outside on the patio and the nice little lawn area just here. It makes a really, really great family home. And if you're interested in viewing it, please do uh, and get in contact with us at Madison's. We'd be delighted to make arrangements to show you. Thanks for watching.